this farm in Rekab, Sidi Bouzid emerged many of the experiments Hayat did as a student. At that time, scientific research in Tunisia was underfunded. Many universities suffered a lack of resources and laboratories were under-equipped. Today, nothing much has changed. The last budget approved in Parliament in 2015 was 5% of the national budget for the whole higher education sector. Scientific research had 0.34% of it. Of course I'm not satisfied with this amount. How is this affecting universities and higher education? Hayat is quick to point out the inequalities in the system. I am very surprised to see the situation of laboratories that are more like ones for schools and not universities. There are huge disparities between institutions in the capital and those in coastal or inner parts of the country. This is a well-equipped institution in the capital, but Tunisian authorities do not rank highly internationally. Student performance is low and unemployment is high. Not everyone who teaches at university is qualified. Some of them have the skills, but there are other teachers hired according to their political affiliations or other non-professional criteria. On the other hand, there is no true evaluation of the professors throughout the year. In Tunisia until now, we imported education systems that were not always successful and that were parachuted in without preparing the right conditions. University studies do not match the economic environment at all. Today, unemployment is the biggest problem that is facing Tunisia, and this could lead to lots of problems like crime, unofficial migration and terrorism. Some of the proposed reforms that are being discussed in Parliament are giving universities more independence in resourcing, restructuring institutions and bridging the gaps between them, giving more value to scientific research and making agreements with international institutions to help improve student performance. This national reform will not happen in a year or two. It needs years to be radical and structural for the whole system. Reforming higher education will not happen unless there is a clear development plan. And accordingly, universities should be directed to serve the national economy, job markets and graduates.